I'm meteorologist Carl Bonak. Welcome to Upper Michigan Source Weather on Demand for March the 12th. Thursday, the official high, well, it reached 42 for the second consecutive day. The low, a mile 28. Put it all together, we're 12 degrees above the long-term average. And the reason? Well, we still have that westerly flow aloft. We still have mild Pacific air affecting us. You can see a little dip out in the northern plains in the upper level winds. This is a trough that's developing low pressure that will head our way. It'll pass through on Friday and then off to the east by Saturday. And by Sunday, the trough will have deepened along the uh, east coast. There may be another snowstorm in northern New England, but for us, high pressure will start the day over us on Sunday. And as it moves to the east, we expect southwest winds to crank up and that'll bring another surge of warm air out ahead of a major cold front in western Canada that'll quickly drop to the southeast and probably pass through here on Monday. But let's talk about now. We've got warm weather. In fact, as of early evening, it was still 70 at Des Moines, 70 at Pierce, South Dakota. It reached into the 70s earlier today up into central North Dakota. The cold air off to the northeast of us, and that means it'll be mild. During the night tonight, winds will still crank up out of the south, especially along the Lake Superior shoreline, which will keep temperatures well up into the 30s. Could reach around 30 at Newberry, but in the western UP, well up into the 30s. In fact, places like Ontonagon, Ironwood may not get below 40 degrees during the night. Then on Friday to start the day, low pressure will be sitting in northeastern Minnesota. It will continue to drift to the east. Most of upper Michigan should be in the warm sector to the north of this front. The snow should be well to our northeast. There could be a shower, especially right along the front and in uh, the northern UP. And the chance as this low moves to the east and winds turn to the northwest in the afternoon that a little drizzle could occur in the northwestern UP, especially in the highlands. High temperatures tomorrow with southerly winds will be mild over most of the UP, except of course along icy Lake Michigan where Manistique may not get to 40 degrees. Readings should be around 50 into the 50s in the interior west, probably the warmest over the south central around Iron Mountain at Ironwood. It was up into the 50s today, but as winds go to the northwest, that should mute the warm up as the day wears on. Then on Saturday, we're expecting that low to start the day to our east. Drifting away, winds pick up out of the northwest to north. We could have a little rain changing to snow on Friday night, especially over the north, and then a chance of some light snow and flurries. Nothing significant on Saturday, particularly in the northern UP. Highs on Saturday likely will stay in the 30s over the north and the east, but over the snowless south, in fact, it should be fairly snowless, except for maybe some leftover piles by um, Saturday in places like Escanaba and Iron Mountain down to Menominee. Temperatures should reach the 40s, and as it clears off, even around Ironwood, late afternoon highs may reach 40 degrees. Your TV six-day forecast. Then on Sunday, after a chilly start, will rise into the 40s east, except near Lake Michigan, to the 50s west. It'll be a very warm Sunday night. Then Monday, that front should sweep across the UP. There could be a few showers. It will be windy. Temperatures likely to fall, especially in the western UP in the afternoon.